I just want to ask one final question. Is if Hamas would lay down all of the, before this massacre, okay, would have laid down all of their weapons, what do you think would have happened? And if Israel laid down all of their weapons, what do you think would happen? So uh, I'll address the second part. If, uh, if Israel lays down all its weapons, I think uh, terrorist groups such as Hamas and the Palestinian Authority would uh, use this opportunity to kill a bunch of Israelis. I agree. So we, we have clarity on that. So What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back giving to new video. Today, we're going to be checking out Charlie Cook obliterates students who says Hamas and Israel are the same. Okay. This is going to be really amazing to watch. Um, I call him Charlie Kick because he loves kicking us. Um, let's get right into this video. To preface, uh, I'm a progressive and I would like to have some discourse with you over the Israel-Palestine okay. conflict. Um, and uh, I'm just going to say I fully condemn Hamas. And um, like uh, my current position is that uh, there should be a one-state solution where uh, it's uh, anti-apartheid. However, there, uh, there should be uh, the international community with the United Nations uh, should be should be responsible for leading the peace process. Um, and personally, I think or the Hamas and the Israeli government are essentially two sides of the same coin. Um, huh. And uh, so. You were doing so well. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's okay. Uh, I'm not good with public speaking. No, no, so. no. I just mean the points. The speaking is fine. Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. The, yeah. Um, so I, I think um, with the recent conflict, of course, Hamas, what Hamas did was terrible. Uh, however, I think it's very important to understand the context of why they did it. Um, so they're very radical. And that radicalization has essentially formed from is the Israel, Israeli government um, bullying the Gaza Strip uh, for the past 50 years um, and obstructing okay. their freedoms. Okay. Um, let me just ask. So thank you for condemning the attacks. I wish we had every member of Congress that could do that. Um, so, <laughs> h however, uh, let, let's, just, let's just make sure we have our you know, stuff clear. You say the Israeli government and Hamas are the same side of the, a coin, right? Um, maybe there's, there's, a, uh, there's some differences, yes, but... Okay, yeah, well, the differences are pretty big. So mm -hmm. let me just go through the last two weeks, and I want you to just at least acknowledge it or not acknowledge it. Hamas gave no warning before they slaughtered 1,300 women and children. True. Israel did multiple days of warnings and dropping leaflets before they dropped any bombs on civilian corridors. Is that moral equivalency? Well, um, I, I think, uh, of course, I think Hamas is much worse. Okay, good. Uh, so they're not the same coin. Got it. So because you maybe said they're similar coins, maybe the penny and the nickel. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Let's go to the, let's go to the next question. Let's go to the next kind of. Well, uh, okay. Element. So um, I think that, uh, so as I said earlier, I think the international community should get more involved. Uh, a while ago, I read the book. Palestinian Peace, Not Apartheid by President Jimmy Carter. And the book essentially boils down to, the book essentially boils down to three things. The Israel, uh, the Israel country and its borders should be respected, I agree. Uh, uh, Palestinians and Jews should, be, should coexist peacefully and um, uh, they shouldn't be killed, which is the third thing. Uh, I, right. I think so. Okay, I got it. Well, okay, uh, sorry. No, I'm so a, sorry. All right, no, it's okay. So let me just. Add, I, I want to try to get this along to some sort of clarity, if not agreement. Who's a bigger impediment to peace, Israel or Hamas? Um, I think the biggest impediment is the reactionary uh, politics and um, like reactions between the two groups. Hamas it, uh, had been ra radicalized by the Jews, or rather, the Israel government. Uh, which had been radicalized by the history of oh, Arabs no, no, killing wait, 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 Jews. Wait, 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 wait. I got to cut you off, man. Wait, what? Like you, you said, Hamas is radicalized by the Israeli government. Well, it's they're, been, they're radicalized it's been by radicalized. Islam, not by the Israeli government. I Islam believe, is what okay. radicalized Hamas. <laughs> not, not everything goes back to the Jews, man. Right? Like. Well, no, no, no. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so I think, so the the conflict essentially boils down to its history. Arabs killed 
uh, a bunch of Jews in its history. The Jews killed a bunch of poor uh, through the Zionist movement, through colonialism. And um, like during, okay. All so right. I, I, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I just want to ask one final question. Is if Hamas would lay down all of the, before this massacre, okay, would have laid down all of their weapons, what do you think would have happened? And if Israel laid down all of their weapons, what do you think would happen? So uh, I'll address the second part. If, uh, if Israel lays down all its weapons, I think uh, terrorist groups such as Hamas and the Palestinian Authority would uh, use this opportunity to kill a bunch of Israelis. I agree. So we, sure. we have clarity on that. So, great. Before the massacre, because heightened tensions, if Hamas would have laid down their weapons and Gaza would have laid down their weapons, what do you think would have happened? I think um, the Israel government would try to essentially do something similar, where they would try to okay. push out some of all of the Palestinians. Uh, as no, we, we would have I do peace, not think they have freedom have. movement. So we're not going to agree on this. Let me just make a couple okay. points. Israel, time and time again, has sat down for peace. Abraham Accords, Oslo Accords, Camp David Accords, which was facilitated. At every corner, Israel has given up land, Sinai Peninsula, parts of the West Bank, parts of Judea and Samaria, in the pursuit of peace. And I just encourage you, and you've, done, you've been intellectually honest, but I want you to think about this, and anyone who might agree with you, that this, these are not morally equivalent. You have one side that has a democratically elected government that allows pluralism in the Knesset, Arab Judaism. In Gaza, they are one size fits all. Hamas took over power, was voted into power. And the stated, the stated doctrine of Hamas is no morally different than Nazism. It's not an exaggeration. It's not about land. It's not about winning hearts or souls. It's about killing Jews. And yeah. the issue is this. Well, more than the issue, is that Hamas now invited this conflict, okay? And this is where my sympathy kind of wanes down to little next to nothing, is that there was at least some form of an equilibrium. They were in Gaza, Israel was in Israel, and on a holy day in the 50-year anniversary of the Yom Kippur War, they decided to go into kibbutzes, which I know that you denounce. But at that point, they're going to F around and find out, and Hamas should be obliterated for that action. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, guys, I love the entire video. I love the student's point of view. I love that he was intellectually honest. I love that he's honest. And he, he has seen the crime, unlike some delusional people who comes, come over here and they don't want to accept the fact that what Hamas is doing is bad. Uh, what is really happening is also bad. Uh, Charlie's point of view, when he said, made that question that if Hamas dropped that weapon and if Israel dropped that weapon, what's going to happen? I would say, um, if Hamas dropped a weapon, Israel um, will kind of like grow the territory more. But at the same time, it's actually their home. It's not like their territory. It's actually their home. But at the same time, there will be more peace. There will be peace and less states. But if Israel is to drop that weapon, there will be more deaths. More and more deaths. A lot of Jews are going to die. But... Seeing what is happening, I have no pity for Hamas. I have no soft heart for what is happening. Uh, what uh, pains me more is the innocent lives that are being killed in Palestine and people who have lost their life. May the soul rest in peace. Which which hurts every time whenever I see the news and see people, mothers, ch um, children dying in Gaza that are, uh, that are from Palestine. It's it's really painful seeing such acts. But at the same time, the terrorist organization which are there, residing there, creating more havoc. Um, they should be eradicated. They should be killed. They should be. They should be destroyed. That was um, well, that's what was what I'm gonna use. Um, I feel like Hamas is a group that was brought up out of trying to defend the land. But what 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 it, what it turned out to be is really really dangerous. In the aspect of killing thousand plus people during their holy feast or a quiet ceremony. On 7th of October 2023, that itself really, really broke me down. Seeing that news, murder, children, that I was, I watched the video, guys. I, I saw videos. I, it was just really, really painful seeing such ads. This, the slaughter, the butcher, like it was very, very terrible. 
that itself made me not to feel any pity or any um, sympathy for Hamas because that terrorist, that terrorist guys, there is no other word you use, that terrorist organization, which are creating more destruction every single time. So if you are seeing Israel commit, um, trying to trying to fight back or trying to defend their land, that is exactly what they're going to do. Any single person, any any anyone who have their head right, any mental person who's thinking properly will do exactly what Israel is doing. They're trying to defend their land. They're trying to not not to be pushed back. Israel is trying to defend their land. Like there's no other thing anyone is going to tell me that I'm going to accept. Because Israel are trying their best to result, to bring peace. Some other countries who the um, Hamas perform such acts on, they will take this more seriously than what Israel is doing. Israel is trying to bring peace. In respect of what people are going to say, Israel is trying to bring peace, number one. Israel is trying to defend the land, number two. They must, if someone invades your land or kill people, you want to retaliate back. And you also want to defend any sensible person is going to do such a thing. So um Hamas itself, the terrorist organization, have to be looked into and dealt with. Because the the crime they have committed is really, really terrible. It's very, very terrible. A lot of people lost their life, a lot of people lost their father, their mother, also their children that same day. So it's very, very terrible. I know what um Israel throwing missile to houses, they are always warning. Every single time you hear Israel throwing a bomb at the building. There is always warning. I always see that there's always a warning telling people to evacuate that building that they are try they're going to destroy that building. There is always a warning. This entire video is actually beautiful. Uh, I also heard that Israel went beyond war regulation by give, making um Palestine to lack water or also electricity. That is beyond they they, they took the, the the matter very, 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 very serious. Because by, by then depriving people from water and electricity results to a lot of bad things. It results to um deaths. So that itself was extreme because I also saw that news too that Israel cut out water supply and also electricity. And also there also lack of food over there in Palestine. In Gaza as, as people reside there, which is which is really, really bad. Like I feel pity for them, but I really don't know how I'm going to explain my feeling towards them because it's 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 terrible to live right there that you don't have water or, f or you have lack of food, also lack of health care. It's 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 really bad because it's bad. It's it's terrible to to watch whenever I see the news about the Israel and Palestine war. It's it's really terrible. But we should all put heads together and trying to resolve this fight. Israel are also doing something bad, but by that water supply and um light supply also shortages of food that I saw. That is extreme for me. That is extreme. But the water supply and the light they're cutting out is to make the Hamas terrorists to be short of water and light and also for them to come out. But by their doing that, they're also affecting innocent Palestine that are living in that same land. And that is where they have ever that is where they have lived all their life. So it's 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 it's, it's, it's really tricky if you see that. It's, it's really bad. It's really bad. I will see that. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to us. Me and us subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. This student's point of view, like, he he's, he's, a, he's a sensible student. And he are making a lot of research. And I respect him for that. Um, I love the entire video. It was, it was beautiful to watch. Comment down below, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I, I just want a bag. Like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking, I don't own papers, pass that 808, that don't, don't shake her, oh bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater, baby mama bugging, I'm so quick to hit ignore, buku bitch, in my bed, I got scales all